Hi, I'm Chris from MusicRadar.com and we're here on the Yuhi stand looking at a sort of physical version of the Diva, um, which I guess is a bit of fun that you've had built for the trade show. Absolutely. You know, we, you know, we thought that a product that simulates physical synthesizers would best be, uh, be used also with a tangible interface, you know. You, when, you, when you've got a synthesizer like, like that does like a mini MOOC type of thing, you don't really want to use the mouse to perform, you want knobs. So we added some knobs onto this surface and we and have I guess it's all just mi MIDI mapped? It's, it's, just, it's just MIDI map, but we did a little bit, little bit more than just MIDI mapping because you have uh, a very dynamic interface because in Diva you can swap the uh, modules against other modules and um, the layout of the modules is different so we had to find a way to create a hardware interface that still works with a changing user interface. Yeah. Okay. And um, did you guys build it yourselves? Did you commission somebody to build it? Oh, we actually built it ourselves. Okay. It's, uh, it happened in the kitchen of the studio <laughs> and uh, with loads of soldering and everything. I can show you the insides. If yes, you yeah, let's open it up. It's absolutely <laughs> homegrown. <laughs> it's an Arduino. And this is all hand soldered and glued and taken out of things and put back together. And what's, what's with the tin foil? What does that do? Uh, it's an insulation because otherwise there's so much noise on the faders, otherwise that all the faders just move by themselves. So to right, speak. okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Tin foil diva ready to cook up a storm <laughs> there. Yeah, excellent. Well, great. Thanks for chatting to us.